Yes, sir. When was the last time he the asked her? Was, you know, did you just interrupt me? No, sir. Yeah, you did. You me no, anything. I didn't ask you anything yet. But you're going to get a fair opportunity to yes, speak. Sir. Don't be rude. Welcome back to Time Serve, the channel that scans the docket so you don't have to. And I have a question for you today. Are there real life superheroes? Because when we watch these judges do what they do day in and day out, I wonder to myself, they must have some type of superpower to be able to hold back when these people do everything they can to piss them off. I would assume the power would be super patience take these two cases today. Judge Stevens has a defendant that has bent over backwards to accommodate this man's situation. Gives him weekend lockup and a sweet deal for probation. And what does he do? How about just doesn't show up? Then our dynamic duo from 14B has a case where not only does the defendant not show up habitually for probation and testing, but her lawyer just decides to phone it in and not show up to her hearing today. Judge Washington is appalled and has never seen such a thing. I won't ruin any more for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe, set your notifications to all, and never miss the superheroes of justice and patience. Let's roll, nerds. Please be seated. Thank you. Jordan Savoy, we're going to take a matter up. Jordan Savoy, is he outside? Where is he? Come forward, sir. Okay, 22-41241, this call to State of Texas versus Jordan Savoy. You are Mr. Savoy. Yes, sir. And you are on uh, currently on probation uh, for... You were indicted for the felony of robbery. There was an agreement that was reached between the parties where you ended up pleading guilty to a lesser included class A misdemeanor of assault to you on uh, probation for two years since November 13th. Correct? Yes, sir. All right. Well, it didn't take long before your probation officer, Ms. LeBlanc, sent me a memo stating. Um, you are balking at following some of these rules, but there is no balking on probation. Yes, sir. You really don't have a choice in this. I work with people who have difficulties in following the orders, and we work with them to ensure they can be done. But I'm looking at uh, this memorandum that was sent to me last uh, a few weeks ago you were ordered to serve 30 days in jefferson county uh, jail when you've completed and i worked with you to perform these on consecutive weekends which you would need to do 15 consecutive weekends yes. and there are people who i accommodate but it's an accommodation. Uh, and if you don't perform as you promise, then that can be changed. You completed two weekends, you missed the last two weekends. Well, it's been more than that now. Yes, sir. When was the last time he asked yes, to? Was, you know, did you just interrupt me? No, sir. Yeah, you did. I you me no, I didn't ask you anything yet. But you're going to get a fair opportunity to yes, speak. Sir. Don't be rude. She's got to take everything down. And when two people speak at the same time, she's unable to. Then the Supreme. Quiet. 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 You're going to do this all day? Then the Supreme Court gets mad at you and you. And when they get mad, the Court of Criminal Appeals gets upset. Then we all get in trouble. So don't cause all of us to get in trouble. You caused yourself to get in trouble already. You got to 
work your way out of this by being responsible in your behavior, which you're not impressing me yet. So, how many, uh, when was the last time he went to uh, the weekend jail as required? Your Honor, it was the weekend of January 26th through the 28th. Here's right. an intermittent schedule. Bear. A that month reflects the two weekends that he did complete. Okay. Yeah, we started out in January, but you haven't been to a scheduled weekend since. So you missed one, two, three, four, five, six. Nobody does that and stays on probation. So, so I'm going to ask you directly, is it a year in jail you want? No, sir. Well, that's what you're essentially telling me by your actions. Everybody has to follow the instructions of the court. There's, they're just not yeah. commands, and they are enforceable by me revoking your probation, finding you then guilty. And... Uh, Was he on deferred or un uh, or, or deferred? Oh. So you're flirting with a conviction conviction by not performing properly. So why has it been six full weekends? I really don't have transportation, sir, from Houston to Bowman. You gotta you gotta figure it out. You either you, you gotta figure it out. Everybody has difficulty getting from some place to another, but you came over here. And committed a crime or, or you lived here but you moved to houston not me you did that's your issue you still are required i'm not going to send you to harris county jail we just it doesn't work that you have to do your jail time in the county where you were charged and your disposition occurred you have to figure it out everybody does it costs a little more you're going to have to figure it out whether you take a bus or you get a taxi or you get hook a ride with somebody you've got to figure it out you understand everybody does and if they fail to do it then that was your issue you decided to move to houston and, but you've got a problem and i try to allow the defendants to fix their problems it shows that they've learned to be responsible this is a work in progress with you, but I don't like it. Here's the deal. Um, and Ms. LeBaugh is one of the easiest people to work with, too. You've got, uh, we're coming up on a weekend. I'm going to check. He fails, you fail. Let me know on Monday. A warrant will be issued for you, and it'll be quick. Bring you over here, get you in front uh, of the court. Who was your lawyer last time? Do you remember? I believe it was Mr. LeBron. That's correct, Judge. Bob LeBlanc. Yeah, we'll get your lawyer here, have a hearing, and it would be a short hearing because you've already been forewarned. So failure is not an option. Yes, right? Okay, okay, get it done. Let me know. Yes, sir. Can we also address the fact as of yesterday, I received a progress report from Harris County. Um, Let me guess. Not good. He, Mr. Savoy, tested positive for marijuana on February the 21st. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, your order, you're going to go to the probation office. We're going to get a drug test on you right now. Yes, sir. You failed. You'll be, you won't leave town. You'll be put in custody. We'll arrest you immediately. I'm sorry. Let me finish before Mr. Interrupter, you do it again. Okay. It's a condition of your probation. You're not making the orders. The court is. You have to follow the orders. You're going to go right now and do a drug test. And then we're also going to have to hear. I want to hear about this because uh, nobody flunks the drug test on my watch. You pay for it. You understand? Well, you know. 
That's the first thing. First thing, don't commit a crime. Illegal use of drugs is a crime. Number one, out of all the conditions, first thing. All right, you know what your marching orders are. You're going to see what happens now. And if you pass, then we're going to have to deal with that later. But you have to come back. Well, he has to check in when started before six o'clock today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I'll let you know, Jenny. Okay. You're ordered to go over there right now. All right. All right. That is all. So ever since this uh, case adjourned, I was checking every bit of video since then, and there was no update on it yet. But I promise you, if I get any updates on Mr. Savoy, and if he passed or not, you will be the first to know. Coming up next, we go to courtroom 14B in Watashaw County, Michigan, where our dynamic duo <laughs> is dealing with some big problems of their own. Where our defendant, Miss Lillian Dobbs, who apparently has several bond violations, and on top of that, her lawyer just decides to not show up today at all. Let's roll. Case number 23S00400. Great to make that for the people. Miss Lillian Dobbs, please unmute, turn on your screen, and state your name. This does not bode well. Miss uh, uh, hey. Lillian Dobbs. You're a mess just standing. All right, we're here today uh, for what is supposed to be. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? We cut out. All right, we're here today for what is supposed to be a uh, bond violation and pretrial. And um, that was the previous bond violation. Now we have a new bond violation. Uh, Miss. Uh, Dobbs' attorney is apparently not here today. Is that correct, Ms. Dobbs? Correct. He's on medical leave. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> That's the word you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's sensational. You can't take medical uh, leave. He's on state. medical leave and... Well, who's substituting for her from that office? I, I have an email. Well, Nobody. Well, I, I have a I have an email that says he's on medical leave. Okay. Um, I was told to request an adjournment. Ms. McDuffie, anything from you on this? Your Honor, I don't know how the court would handle such a situation, but Ms. Dobbs, uh, originally she was issued a bench warrant for a previous violation. She retained counsel. That counsel appeared at her arraignment on that bench warrant before the magistrate and would have been given this date. I, I have never seen an attorney just not show up um, and send an email after filing an appearance with the court only to their client and not notifying the court or counsel or anybody else of their planned absence and without sending anybody else to substitute. As the court mentioned, Ms. Dobbs has additional violations since that time. So I, obviously we can't proceed um, with her unrepresented, but I, I have a problem, I guess, with just simply adjourning at the same time because of the non-compliance. So I don't know if there's a spot appointment of the PD that could suffice for now uh, or what. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. Um, Ms. Dobbs, you have been missing uh, tests almost on a daily basis and testing essentially when you choose to test. 
Yeah, I, I don't want to speak without. I don't want you here. to say it. Yeah, I'm not asking you to say anything. March 21st, 2024, at 11 a.m. in person. Council needs to be present or contempt proceedings will proceed against your attorney. So they need to be present or have a substitution. Council is very aware that you can not just show up to court. Okay. I'll see you here in person, ma'am. If you have another missed test, I'm going to issue an immediate bench warrant. Do you understand? Okay. Thank you. Is that a yes, you understand? Yes, I understand, ma'am. All right. Thank you. I don't know what that even means.